Proxy. Proxy. Oh, another cute looking anime. Yeah. Probably like no one ever wants to watch. It's called My Little. It's like my so cute little my sister's not that cute. No. It's, oh. Oh no. If you want like a cute one, or on High School Host Club. Oh my God. Oh, oh, so my so fucking cute. Love it. Oh my God. Hikaru. Okay. Everyone's supposed to be like rooting for Tamaki and uh, it's Haruhi and Tamaki, but I'm like yeah. Hikaru and Haruhi is the. It's the one who's like. Off to the side, he like carries her off, like when they're at the um that one guy's family's hotel spa thing. Oh my god! Yes. Wait, no. Oh, it. he's oh. cute. Oh, right. Lori? Yes. Oh, stop! I love the little baby. He's not a baby. Look at honey, so good. Honey, so good. He is so cute. I'm so excited. This I is freaking love Ruby. This is so volume much. four. Chapter 8, a much needed talk. And like the thumbnail. A much needed talk. The thumbnail is John looking serious. As John! This what are we talking about, John? Hopefully, ex some answers What's, from, from uh, fucking, fucking, fucking. Punished. <laughs> Let's have a serious conversation, John. With Crow. And is Crow alive? Someone needs to suck that venom out. I was saying at the beginning, I'm like, please suck the venom out. Alright, he's I'll gonna be it. fine. You better be. Let's let John have a much needed talk. Uh, this one's okay. What scares me is like this one's 20 minutes and no. the rest 16. And the finale last year was like I'm 25. Gonna die. <laughs> He's hunched over. He's still hurt. He's oh, no. drinking. He's Calm down. Sorry. Really? No questions? Of course we have questions. John, this is just a lot to take in. Sure, of course. So these maidens, mm -hmm. they're powerful fighters that don't need dust to use magic. Yeah. And there are four of them? Yep. Okay. Always. Which means that whenever one of them dies, the power transfers to someone a female that they care about? Whoever was in their thoughts last. Important distinction. Best option, it's someone we can trust. Regardless, their souls become combined, in a way. Oh. And that's what you were trying to do to Pyrrha. The night the tower fell. You were trying to turn her into one of them. Jean! The previous fall maiden, Amber, had been attacked. She was young and experienced. And her assailant, who we now know as Cinder, somehow managed to steal some of her power, but not all of it. We were afraid that if we didn't do something, the rest would go to her as well. So you forced it on Kira. We didn't Shut force up. anything. She chose we explained this. Explained the situation and gave her a choice, and she chose. You were there. She wanted her. to do the right thing, Jean. Oh, it's God. not anyone's fault! Don't blame them for Pyrrha's death. Don't blame her. anyone! Fuck. That guy, Tyrion. Why was he after me? <sighs> well, you definitely painted a target on your back with what you did at Beacon. I told you having silver eyes is a rare trait. And the fact that you're someone that was able to use them seems to have upset some very powerful people. Okay, now many people friends. know about the Silver Eyes, but those who do are very so happy with the surface. That's why I've been keeping an eye on you. I wanted to make sure you were safe. Oh, what a oh, nice uncle. Of you. Well, then why not just travel with us? It seems like that would have been way easier. He was using you as bait. Oh, Jean. Look, I wouldn't put it like that. It's complicated. What yeah. is all of this? But it's true. Ruby's being hunted. The schools are being attacked. All for what? What is the point of all of this? Will you just tell us what's going on? Oh, he looks so good in his armor. <sighs> Would you sit down? You're stressing me out, kid. Waiting. I know. Not many people are super religious these days. <laughs> The world's been around for a long time. Long enough that people have created dozens of gods. But if you believe Ozpin, 
Two of them are actually real. They were brothers. <laughs> Story time. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Meanwhile, the younger brother, the god of darkness, Yin -yang. spent mm -hmm. his time creating forces of destruction. As you can imagine, they both had pretty different ideas about how things should go. The older one would spend his days creating water, plants, wildlife. And at night, his brother would wake to see all the things that the elder had made and become disgusted. Disgusted. To counteract his brother's creations, the god of darkness brought drought, fire, famine. All that he could do to rid remnant of life. Life always returned. So one night, the younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. Grim? The creatures of Grim. You guessed it. The older brother had I finally story had enough. Mm -hmm. Knowing that their feud couldn't last like this forever, he proposed that they make one final creation. Together. Something they could both be proud of. Their masterpiece. Younger brother agreed. This last great creation would be given the power to both create and destroy. It would be given the gift of Good knowledge and so that it could learn about itself and the world around it. And most importantly, it would be given the power to choose. To have free will to take everything it had learned Man. and decide which oh. path to follow. The path of light or the path of darkness. And that is how humanity came to be. Yes. But what does that have to do with us? Well, that's the kicker. See the four gifts to mankind. Knowledge, creation. Destruction and choice are just metaphorical. Each of them exists in a physical form, left behind by the gods before they abandon remnant. And each of them is extraordinarily powerful. If someone were to collect all four, they'd be able to change the world. That's exactly what the enemy wants. No, the Huntsman Academies were created to train generations of humanity's yeah. protectors, what? but they also serve uh, another purpose, yeah. guarding the relics. When Ozpin's predecessor founded the schools, he built them around the relics to act as a fortress. Mm. Not only would they be easier to defend, but they would be constantly surrounded by trained warriors. The hope was that hiding the relics would keep mankind from using them against itself. And of course, keeping them out of her reach. Who is she? So yeah, there's that. All right. Her. Good job, Ruby. Salem. That's right. Yeah, Salem's the mother. Not of much is known about her. Quite frankly, that's not what matters. What matters right now is that she wants the relics. And if she gets them, it's not going to end well. Oh, Blake, we're back to you. They talked about Salem in the you last know. one, too, didn't they? Mm -hmm. A little bit. You can always go in and say hi. I don't want to bother him. A father's never too busy for his daughter. Not all of my friends would agree with you on that. Oh, yes. Here. I miss you. What? Where are you going? You've never been very talkative, but that boy you brought home loves to run his mouth. I want to hear more about the adventures of Team Ruby. That's cute. <laughs> Collie, is that you, dear? Don't be scared. It's your dad, come on. Uh, hey, Dad. Blake, well, this is a pleasant surprise. I... Please, come sit. He seems fine. Yeah. Don't worry, I've thing. got Just no! Sit down. Don't say sit things down. like that. I don't want to keep you with your... Nonsense. I've been cooped up in here all day. Mm -hmm. You still take sugar, right? Oh, 
Actually, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. Oh, here, take this one. No, really, it's it's no big deal. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. <laughs> Seems a little awkward. Old habits, I suppose. <laughs> Might want to let it cool. Right. So, is it uh, warm in Vale? <laughs> oh my god, is it he asking about the weather? Yes, seems please. like your outfit doesn't cover very much. Oh god, Dad, <laughs> stop. It covers plenty. I mean, a little more armor might help, don't you think? I'm fine. I don't need armor. I can look after myself. I... I know you can. I'm sorry. Why? Why would you say that? Like... Sweetheart, what's wrong? What did I say? How can you still love me after what I did? Blake! Blake... Your mother and I will always love you. You were right! I shouted at you and yelled at you, but you were right. I called you cowards. It's okay. I should have left the White Fang with you and Mom. I should have listened to you and I'm sorry. Ow. I'm so, so sorry. Damn you, Adam! Look it's at what fine. you've done! We never held anything against you, and I never feared you would fail. The only thing I ever feared was that you would fall down the wrong path. And I am so proud to this see you happen. so cheesy. But I did. It was... And you pulled yourself out. You came back. There aren't many who possess that kind of strength. And even fewer that have the courage to face their demons again. Vale, Mountain Glen, Beacon. You confronted the White Fang time after time. Because you know that Adam's a dickhole. No, you didn't. I want her to freaking kill him. He's so Which is annoying. why I wanted to ask you. Why did you leave Vale? Why did you leave your friends behind? I... Son! Oh, whoa! This isn't the bathroom! Uh, I'll just be going! Sorry to interrupt this tender family moment! <laughs> what? Are you doing? I really don't like you. Where is her mother? <sighs> Probably right. on the other side of the door, not so best dear Lord. On it. <laughs> there really is this crazy evil being behind these attacks, not just some thugs trying to become powerful. Why doesn't the world know? Why isn't Atlas going after them or Mistral? And why aren't we in more of a hurry to get to Haven? Shouldn't we be getting them a message? What if they're next? The headmaster over there saw what happened to Beacon. He's not dumb. He'll be on his guard. Besides, it takes time to mobilize forces like that. Do you really think they planned out that attack on Beacon overnight? And to answer your question, it's the same reason we keep quiet about the Maidens. If the whole world knew about the relics, about Salem, it would be chaos. We'd have another great war on our hands, and this time... You'd have to fight. Look, I had the same questions, too. But Oz Ben always put his foot down. We can't cause a panic. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Salem's smart. She works from the shadows, using others to get what she wants. So that when it comes time to place the blame, we can only point at each other. What is happening? Aww. <laughs> That's just uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> she, I dab. <laughs> <don't wanna> <laughs> and when she tried to do it, <laughs> it stopped. <laughs> Hi. Um, shh. Roxy, stop hating me. Down.
I know, you have to be so mean, even though she's like, but I'm so adorable. Yeah, I hate being a mother of a puppy. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty adorable. God damn it. Can I pet you, or are you going to bark at me? No. I know, I know you're going to try and bite me if I try and pet you. She's trying to divide us. Humanity. So far, she's done a pretty damn good job. Wait, her name? She's humanity? She, no, Salem's trying to divide humanity. Oh, okay. Alright. So, what should we do? <laughs> I don't really know. Ospen has put a lot of trust in the headmasters. Like I said, the schools are an important part of stopping Salem. Atlas is going to be on high alert after the last attack, and Vacuo is, well, Vacuo. It'll be hard to hire thieves and scoundrels to fight against other thieves and scoundrels. Mm. Take that. Add in the fact that Cinder and her crew claim to be from Haven. And I think it's likely the next target. So, we're on our way to the Headmaster. Haven't heard from him in a while, even before the attack. I'm hoping he has the answers. <laughs> All right. It's, it's gonna take time him a while to heal. Sleep. Uncle Crow. Oscar. Yeah. Oscar, Oscar. This is a lot to take in. And it all sounds crazy. But I'm willing to do whatever I can to help. Because I trust you. But why couldn't you trust me? Why couldn't you just travel with us instead of all of this secrecy and, and... Look, this has nothing to do with trust. I... It's a long story, okay? Seriously? Now you're tired of telling us stories? Seriously? Yeah. Always our mom. Yep. But you know the crows are a sign of bad luck? superstition, but it's how I got my name. You see, some people can absorb electricity, and some people can burst into rose petals. Hmm. And some people are just born unlucky. Poor crow. My semblance isn't like most. It's not exactly something I do. It's always there, whether I like it or not. I bring misfortune. I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. Comes in real handy when I'm fighting an enemy. But it makes it a little hard on friends. And family. <laughs> well, you are just a real bundle of help, aren't you? Yeah. John, I understand that you are hurt, but that does not mean that you are allowed to hurt no, others. Wait. Taking a walk. There's nothing else you want to tell us? <gasps> oh! Not tonight. So, some people can burst into rose petals. <laughs> Me! I just suck, I guess. <laughs> Poor Ruby. <gasps> No concept of privacy, no respect for personal space. Yes. I'm sorry, okay? Ow, I'm sorry. Ugh. Look, I promise it was important. I needed to find you to talk to you. What, son? What could be so important? I was talking to your mom and she said something weird about the white fang. I'm stopping you right there. But I told you. I'm not here to fight the white fang. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm here to rest to figure things out, and to see my family. Roxy. Your mom said White Fang members don't wear masks in Menagerie, but I saw one at the market yesterday. I even got a picture. Son. Look, I'm trying to help. I don't want your help. No! It's a picture of Adam. Because Adam's there. Or he got all of, uh... God damn you to hell and back! I will murder you with my bare hands! Oh, it's not Adam. 
It's a girl. A freaking it's a ninja? Girl. A spy. But why would. Go, Blake, go! What's happened? The White Fang is evil. I totally called it, and I'm bringing your daughter back! I totally killed it! Tell us, and then Ruby's mom's like, Yeah, anything, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Crow, fuck this. Quit it. <coughs> oh, God, no. Oh, poison. Shush! Shut up. Oh my god. Uncle Crow! Yeah, it's over. Oh no, I wasn't trying to pick you up, Roxy. God damn it! Crow, why? <laughs> what the shit is this? I have face you. What the fuck? <laughs> Yes. Let's talk about Ruby real quick. Okay, but Ruby real quick though. So is Crow dying? Wow. I'm not ready for this emotional. I don't really think that Crow is gonna die because I mean, but at the same time, if if her mom is following them around, like he very well could get killed off, and then she would just take the place of like the adult advisor, right? I think so. No, because no one like everyone thinks he's dead except for Crow. And, yeah, um, but like Crow knows that she's following him around, and she could like be like, okay, well now that he's gone and the kids obviously need protection because shit's getting cray. But she didn't like, give a shit even when like. Yeah, because shit wasn't cray. Like Salem wasn't a problem. Cinder wasn't a problem. Like all four of the maidens had hosts that knew what the fuck they were doing with their powers. But even then, uh, she went to Yang or whatever when she saved Yang, and she's like, that's the last time I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's true. I'm not ready for this emotional, like, toying of, like, me thinking that Crow's gonna die. I, I do like think- I think gonna die, though. I do think Sun's gonna die. And that, like, honestly breaks my heart. But, like, I- uh, It's not looking good for him. Alright, Death Omen, you just killed one of your favorite characters, so I hope you feel good about yourself. That's not what's gonna happen, okay? This is what's gonna happen. She's gonna follow this ninja white fang girl, and he's gonna follow. It's a trap. And they're gonna get, like, into it, and then she's gonna totally kick Adam's butt, and she's gonna be like, you cut off my BFF's arm, you dickhead, I'm gonna murder you, and then a she's gonna murder arm. him. <laughs> And then she's gonna murder him and it's gonna be okay! And then everything's gonna go back to normal because he's like the head of the snake. So if you cut off the head of the head of the snake, everything's fine. Yeah. And all of his little minions and ninja bitches who sit in palm trees like they're cool kids, <laughs> alright? When they're not and they're spying where they shouldn't be, alright? They're all just gonna slink back into the shadows where they belong. And it's gonna be fine. And Blake but and Sun take- are gonna live happily ever after. And Yang's gonna come back with her bio arm, and Team Ruby's gonna get back together, and it's all gonna be good. But, like, just like that. Killing Adam, he's not the head snake, Salem is. I know, but Adam still needs to die. Yeah, like, he does. Oh, absolutely. Oh my god. Oh, absolutely, he needs to die. He was gonna kill Blake, and Yang was like, no, and he was like, slice. And he already pretty much broke Ye or Blake's heart, and it's not okay. Like, nothing that Adam does is okay. I'm not okay with him as, as a, a living, breathing character. I want him dead. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah. So, uh... But, yeah, Salem is the head of the snake, so I don't know how they're... I have a funny feeling that Salem and, um, Ruby's mom are gonna real get into it, and that's gonna be how it, like, ends. Mm-hmm. Is that they're gonna, like, fight. That'd be sick. That'd be lit. That'd be a lit fight. That'd be lit sure. af. Lit af! Yes! See you guys later.